Today in Beckley, there was a job fair with a mission to remove barriers some in our community face when seeking employment. WOAY talked to the organizers to get the story. It is certainly not news that West Virginia was hit hard by the opioid epidemic and that many in the area are struggling with substance abuse. However, when there are programs and steps taken to help those impacted, it is newsworthy. And on Wednesday in Beckley, the Second Chance Job Fair was held with the purpose of helping job seekers with less than an ideal past land a job. The Second Chance Job Fair is a place where people who have employment barriers, uh, any employment barrier, but particularly those who are recovering from, sub from substance use disorder um, and those that have had uh, justice involved issues, maybe being in prison or coming out of jail, uh, where they can find employment uh, and get back on track. The fair was hosted by Jobs and Hope West Virginia. Jobs and Hope is a governor justice initiative program that helps individuals get connected to resources that eliminate barriers to employment. To bring this event to the Raleigh County Convention Center, Jobs and Hope West Virginia partnered with the West Virginia Schools of Diversion and Transition. We are a school district um, which encompasses schools inside correctional centers, uh, juvenile detention, residential treatment, regional jails, that kind of thing. To those in recovery or those recently released from incarceration, idle hands are dangerous. Having something to do and work towards makes a huge difference. In 2019, I came home from prison. Um, I was on parole. I signed up for the Jobs and Help program, which helped me to be able to obtain all the trainings necessary to obtain a peer recovery support certification. Um, and then they also helped me with job mock interviews, uh, which helped me set up to become the Jobs and Hope Peer Recovery Support Specialist for Fayette, Monroe, Raleigh, and Summers Counties. There were 26 employers and 35 community resource agencies in attendance. Employers looking for candidates ranged from utility companies, trade unions, to hospitality and food service. Here today we have um, professional headshots and resume services here. So you really can have a one-stop uh, shop here if you're seeking a job. Um, you don't have to come in with a resume prepared. We have those services here that we can assist you and help you. Just anything we can do uh, that's in our power to help folks get jobs, that's what we're here for. The Second Chance Job Fair is hosted once a year, but the momentum is building and they hope to begin offering it twice a year. If someone is ready to take the next step, they can visit jobsandhope.westvirginia.gov for more information. You have to be 18 years of age or older, a resident of West Virginia. You have to have some type of barrier to employment. You have to be ready and willing to do some type of training or education. You have to have career employment as your goal and you have to submit a drug screen. Fortunately, what they're doing is working. Jobs and Hope West Virginia has a track record of success. We have lots of uh, successful participants with the Jobs and Hope program. We have close to 500 graduates. Those folks have eliminated barriers such as driver's license, um, backgrounds, and we've helped them obtain employment for at least six months. Let's face it, we've all made mistakes. It's not these mistakes that define us but rather what we learn from them and how we respond. I love Jobs and Hope, and I wouldn't be who I am today had I not signed up for that program. <laughs> Reporting from Beckley, Newswatch 4.